Well, here's a tale of a town that got too big for its own good. Big city folk changed the landscape and pushed out the local culture. And it was actually that very same local culture that brought them here to begin with. <laughs> this is a song about those hard-working, music-loving local artists and fans that can't pay for concert tickets no more because of what is known as Live Nation and Ticketmaster. Well, here's a tale of a town that got too big before traffic stopped and when adults were kids. All right, we've been we've been joking around here in the studio, but we're we want to talk about something serious here, something serious that is on the on the on the comedy album, and it's a it's a great track, the the ballad of the lied nation story. What's what? Yeah. So let's, let's talk about so, that song. Uh, that story came up uh, just from from life, from reality. You know, we're all dealing with. When I say all, I mean concert going, loving concert going people. I know this has happened all over town, but especially in this town, we've actually really fully seen it where, you know, these, we have all these great small venues and the scene is great and popping. And then these rich folk come in and they see this great scene and then they want to live here and they move in here. They cut down the trees, they build apartments. And then next thing you know, the prices go up, inflation goes up. And then they shut down all the small venues like the Whiskey, our favorite spot. And then they're like, oh, well, who's going to play for us? Who's going to entertain us? Let's build a big venue. Because it was like the Whiskey was making too much noise and they couldn't go to sleep at night. So now they're going to build a venue where you can hear it for 10 miles in any radius. And then uh, you know, the concert tickets, the main thing is the concert tickets, the, the price that, you know, Ticketmaster and these scalpers are... are the whole system is just completely screwed and it's flawed. And there's no way that a concert ticket can be $60 one day and then $600 the next day. Right. And we've got to fix it. And I don't know how to fix it, but I made a song about it. And maybe that'll help. The other uh, part of this story is I actually work for Live Nation and I hope I continue to work for them, but uh, <laughs> I was, know, I'm going to get fired over this song. I so. was, I was going to ask, ask you about that. If you, if you, you didn't put it out under a different name. So I did not yeah. um, even though the song is technically by Yusuf Young. Ah. who is uh, kind of like if Neil Young and uh, Cat Stevens had a baby. So that's Yusuf Young singing that song. That's not me. But, uh, you know, I just, I went I went ballsy with it and said, you know what, I'm going to just put this thing out there. And there's nothing that's untrue about the song. The song is, you know, I even say I'm working for Live Nation. I'm getting up in the morning, putting my hard hat on, putting my boots on, heading to the stage, which is a true story. You know, and it's like, I can't pay for the ticket because I'm not going to spend $500 to get a ticket to go to the show. And so I got to keep working for them. So I can't go. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it, it is a true, true story. And, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully things will change and maybe we can have a happy medium of both because, you know, there's, there's got to be some kind of compromise. There's got to be, yeah. uh, well, we need to have a living, a living wage for sure. In this, yeah, I mean, the good thing is there's a big concert stage for us to see good shows the shows are coming in that are just massive out there and that's a good thing yeah but, fish you know, fish came here fish uh we saw santana trey band widespread right. pit plays there every year yeah. i did see the list so far and it's all country and i'm not too happy about that i'm not a big country guy so uh, i'm kind of like uh, is anyone else gonna drop uh any uh dates here in wilmington all right well we'll, we'll just have to Wait and wait and see, but we're going to feature this on the this song on the uh, Wilmington adjacent um, episode of Future Shine Radio, and uh, let, let's uh, we want to know what you think of it. What do you think of it? And drop Justin a line and let him know. Slide you, into my DMs. Slide into his DMs, as the cool kids say. As they say. Yes. Yeah, um, say. But yes, uh, we're, we we appreciate you coming on Celery Chat and. Uh, I just, I really feel like I need to give you a high five. Can I, can I do that? Are we, are we friends enough to high five now? Are yeah, we, we that? can high five. But I, I, I can't, the camera angle, I can't. Uh, I think I slapped <laughs> you in the face, but that's sometimes how it happens. <laughs> that's it. That's how, how it happens. Just pound it, pound it. All right, hold on. But can we do it? Oh yeah, that was good. That, that was, was that was very good. Well, here's a tale of a town that got too big for its own good. Big city folk changed the landscape 
and pushed out the local culture. And it was actually that very same local culture that brought them here to begin with. <laughs> this is a song about those hard-working, music-loving local artists and fans that can't pay for concert tickets no more because of what is known as Live Nation. Well, the city ain't the same to you and me. They saw a vibrant downtown college scene with local music, cool art, and weird poetry. So they built apartments and tore down the trees and kicked out all the small venues like the whiskey. 